The SA-330 Puma is one of the feathers in the cap of the French helicopter industry. Although it is no longer in production, its fundamental design has remained relevant for later rotorcrafts, of course with some improvements. Today we're investigating the SA-330, the first of the French Wildcat helicopter dynasty. The SA-330 Puma was the best-selling transport rotorcraft produced in Europe during much of the 1970s. Previously, the French had favored the names of birds or flying insects for helicopters. Then the Puma arrived, followed by the Cougar and Caracal with similar design. In the mid to late 1950s, while Americans advanced through conceptual studies, the French gained valuable first-hand experience in air mobile doctrines in Algeria. Analyzing combat reports from the battles in the region, the French army identified a need for a new medium transport helicopter in 1962 under the Helicopter de Manoeuvre program to replace its PSHG H21 and Skorsky H34s. It would possess the ability to perform missions in all weather conditions, both day and night. To keep the development period short and low cost, French initially considered upgrading the H34s with turboshaft engines. However, this plan was deemed unfeasible and Sud Aviation began designing the SA-330 called Alouette 4 at the time. It was not purely French. The US Skorsky provided technical assistance in designing the four-bladed main rotor, while Italian Fiat developed the main gearbox. France initially planned to equip the rotorcraft with two 1048 horsepower Turbamica Baston 7 gas turbine engines. However, even before the prototype was built, the decision was changed to the Turbamica Turmo 3. In those years, the UK also sought a new medium helicopter to replace its aging Belvedere and Whirlwinds. London signed an agreement to join the development phase and acquired the rotorcraft in 1967. In return, Paris pledged to purchase the Western WG-13, later known as the Lynx. After this agreement, the French offered the name Puma for the helicopter, which was not initially well received. Then the French suggested Machette, Atlas and Mistral. The Brits made their counteroffer with Normandy and Consort. Eventually, the name Puma was selected unanimously. In 1964, France ordered two prototypes and six pre-production helicopters. On April 13, 1965, three months ahead of the schedule, the wheels of the first prototype lifted off the ground during its hover test. The maiden flights occurred two days later. The first of six pre-production helicopters, known as the SA-330A, took to the air on March 2, 1966. Each of these machines differed from one another to test various subsystems and designs, particularly the lightning gears. Shortly after Aerospatiale, today's Airbus helicopters absorbed Sud Aviation, the first SA-330B entered service with the 7th Division of the French Army in April 1970. The first SA-330E assembled in the UK made its maiden flight in December 1970 and officially entered service with the Royal Air Force on January 29, 1971. Indonesia and Romania also produced the Puma under license as the NAS-330J and IAR-330 respectively. Aerospatiale ceased production of the helicopter in 1987, having delivered 697 units. On the other hand, the production line in Romania remained open until 2008. The semi-monocoque fuselage is all metal. Titanium alloy is used locally beneath the engine installation, which is outside the main fuselage shell. An internal doorway connects the flight deck to the cabin, featuring a folding seat for an additional crew member or cargo supervisor. Dual control is standard and the SFIM Newmark 127 autopilot is optional. The SA-330 can transport up to 16 seated soldiers or 6 litters with 4 attendants for casualty evacuation. Its cabin, equipped with heating, ventilation and soundproofing systems, is 6.05 meters long, 1.8 meters wide and 1.55 meters high providing 7.8 square meters of floor area and 11.4 cubic meters of usable volume. The Puma can carry up to 2,500 tons of cargo, either internally or with an external sling. 
The helicopter features anti-vibration measures in its main gearbox and main rotor blade. With its high reserve power, the SA330 can perform effectively at maximum weight using only one engine. If one or both engines fail, the remaining turbine or the auto-rotating rotor can rotate the drive gears, maintaining power to the ancillary systems even when the engines are off. Its hovering ceilings, in and out of ground effect, are 2230 and 1350 meters respectively. Key areas of mechanical systems were designed for easy access to facilitate maintenance. The Puma has also included an automatic inspection system for its foldable main rotor blades. The helicopter is transportable by tactical airlifters such as the C-160 and C-130 Hercules. The hydraulic motors of the semi-retractable landing gear allow the SA-330 to maneuver on the ground with the main engines turned off. Chile, the Democratic Republic of Congo, France, Gabon, Guinea, Kenya, Kuwait, Malawi, Morocco, Pakistan and Ukraine are the current operators of the Puma. The SA-330H variant of the Puma has a three-person crew and can carry up to 20 passengers. It has a length of 18.15 meters, a rotor diameter of 15 meters and a height of 5.14 meters. The helicopter is empty and maximum takeoff weights are 3,536 and 7,000 kilograms respectively. Two 1,575 shaft horsepower Turbomica Turmo 4C turboshaft engines provide a top speed of 257 km per hour. Its cruising speed is 248 km per hour. The helicopter's range is 1,020 km. It can climb to an altitude of 4,800 meters, in other words, 15,750 feet. The initial SA-330B version for the French Army Light Aviation had two 1,185 horsepower Turbomeca Turmo 3C4 engines. Later, France upgraded the entire fleet to SA-330H standards and redesignated them as the SA-330BA. One helicopter was converted into a demonstrator to carry an Okide Battlefield Surveillance Radar System. Although the program was cancelled in 1990, this helicopter, called the SA-330 Okide, was used during the 1991 Gulf War. Four SA-330BA helicopters stationed in French Guiana were equipped with a long-range navigation kit. They are also known as the Puma Eron. The SA-330BA Resco is a modified version designed for combat search and rescue missions. It includes inertial navigation and satellite navigation systems, the Clio thermal imaging surveillance system, a hover stabilizer, and large sponsons that allow for the integration of additional fuel tanks, door-mounted machine guns, and an armored crew cabin. The helicopter can be operated using the night vision goggles. The civilian variant of the SA-330B is the SA-330F. The initial export production version of the Puma is the SA-330C powered by 1,400 horsepower Turbamica Turbo 4B engines. The SA-330E is the variant used by the Royal Air Force designated as Puma HC Mark I. The UK later upgraded 24 of them to Puma HC Mark II standards featuring more powerful Turbamica Makila 1A1 engines, a glass cockpit with new avionics, secure communications and improved self-protection equipment. The SA-330G is the upgraded civilian version equipped with 1575 horsepower Turbamica Turmo 4C engines. The SA-330H shares the same engine as the G variant and features composite main rotor blades. The SA-330J is the upgraded civil transport version featuring composite rotor blades and a higher maximum takeoff weight. Although the US Navy considered this variant as a possible replacement for the CH-46 for ferrying people and cargo between ships, the project was subsequently cancelled. Nevertheless, two SA-330Js were later leased from a civilian company for use during operations in Afghanistan. The SA-330L is the military equivalent of the J version. Portugal upgraded its SA-330Ls with Turbomica McLean engines, the Umira ORB-31 radar and an autopilot and redesignated them as SA-330S. The SA-330Z prototype featured a Fenestron tail rotor. 
the SA331 Puma Macula served as the engine testbed for the AS332 Super Puma. The helicopters underwent numerous modifications during their service life, including the installation of dust filters on the engine air intakes and the mounting of radar warning receivers, among other upgrades. The Oryx, IAR330, AS332 and AS532 are also SA330 variants, however they are the subjects of other videos. And of course, we saved the best Puma version for the last, the MI-24 in the movies of Rambo and OSS-117. The Pumas have been key assets in numerous French operations in Africa since the 1970s, serving in Central African Republic, Chad, Mali and Niger. France also deployed 138 of them in Saudi Arabia during the 1991 Operation Desert Storm, 48 of which were transferred by the aircraft carrier Clemenceau. The SA-330 Okide was 139th. The French Pumas were equipped with Sherlock radar warning receivers before deployment, primarily used to supply frontline units and also kept in hot reserve to evacuate the wounded. The SA-330BA Rescos served to rescue crews of downed aircraft in NATO operations in the Balkans during the 1990s. For example, on April 16, 1994, a French helicopter evacuated a British pilot from the outskirts of Gouragde who had ejected from a sea harrier. The British Pumas, equipped with thermal imaging surveillance systems, were deployed during the conflict in Northern Ireland. One was shut down by an Irish Barrackbuster Mark 15 improvised mortar, another crashed after colliding with a gazelle, and a third was hit during a mission. The UK deployed 15 Pumas equipped with dust filters to the region during the 1991 Gulf War. They served in cargo and personnel transport missions. Portugal ordered 12 Pumas in 1969 and became the first country to use the helicopter in combat. They served in Angola and Mozambique during the Portuguese colonial war. South Africa received 20 SA-330Cs, 19 SA-330Hs and 18 SA-330Ls, later upgrading all Hs to L standards. The Pumas quickly became indispensable for air mobile operations by filling the gap between Alouette 3 and Super Ferlon. The first had a limited range and could transport only a few soldiers. The latter was overly large, making it an easy target. South Africa widely employed SA-330s in Rhodesia, Namibia and Angola. In the 1982 Operation Super, alongside four Alouette 3s armed with cannons, five Pumas with a landing party of 45 soldiers from the elite 32nd Battalion destroyed a Swapo camp. They eliminated 250 insurgents in exchange for four losses. In the 1983 Operation Mebos, a landing party of nine Pumas destroyed a Swapo command headquarters in Angola. During the South African Border War, the South African Defence Force kept groups of Pumas ready in the bases in South West Africa, which is today's Namibia, as rapid reaction forces. They could generally take off in no more than 15 minutes after receiving a call. During the 1982 Falklands War, Argentina deployed five Army and one Coast Guard Pumas to the theatre. Four SA-330s were shut down by small arms fire, a Sea Dart missile fired from HMS Coventry, Sea Harriers and a Stinger manpads. One crashed to the ground while performing evasive maneuvers during the same attack by Sea Harriers. The Argentine Coast Guard's Puma became a war trophy and was taken to the UK. Although the helicopter did not fly for a long time, it was used as a training aid for pilots and technicians. In 1992, it was modernized and taken into service by the 33rd Squadron. The Royal Moroccan Air Force extensively used its Pumas against the Polisario Front over the Western Sahara during the 1970s and 1980s. In these operations, several helicopters were shut down or damaged by 2K-12 Kub air defense missile systems, which have the NATO reporting name of SA-6 Gainful. The Puma is undoubtedly one of the best French helicopters in terms of its successful design, market achievements and combat career. Of course, there are many other operational stories and interesting facts about the legendary SA-330, but we could only mention a few of them to keep our video short and sweet. Please do not hesitate to share them in the comments section. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. 
And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of the likes, comments and shares.